and Carrie Tattoo and Ella Wash here and we are two Zuby Cat Life Cat Avatars. The video here is to show you guys how to use the Cat Life game with two or more avatars, how we share accessories, uh, how we can give each other care, and um, how this whole thing works. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am um, the black and white cat and Ella is the ginger cat. You could see, barely see her name Ginger here and my name's Spaceman right there. So the first thing I'm going to do is explain to you this HUD very briefly. Um, you can't see Ella's HUD because she's wearing it, but you can see mine. Right now I have six icons that all show unhappiness. The goal is for me to make sure I'm happy within 24 hours. Currently my timer is set for 13 minutes, but that's only for this demo. It would be 24 hours. So once you provide care, which is making all these icons happy, you earn one token and then those tokens can be redeemed for toys. Now the cool thing about this is I can provide myself care, I could provide Ella care, she can provide me care, or we can provide somebody else care. It's all, it all works together through this assignment system. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to assign Ella care. You won't see her icon yellow because she's wearing the HUD, but after I assign Ella food care, she will assign me care and you'll see my icon becomes yellow. So let's start. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to walk over to the food bowl. If I can get my camera right. Here we go. Here we go. Yay. Okay, so here's the food bowl. So first thing I do is I say click the bowl. I say call a sign and I'm going to hit assign and it's going to search for the cat avatars in my space. So I'm Spaceman, Ella's Jinja. So here we go. I assign it to Jinja. Immediately it says, please click new food to give her food. So I'll click new food and it looks for the food bowl. Cat found, please touch a Zuby Cat Life food can or snacks to give it to her. So here's my food. I touch it. I say yes. Once you do this, you can't undo it. So I say yes automatically food appears in her bowl. Now her HUD, this icon for her will turn yellow. That means that so far, oh she's eating it now, so far she has food for the day. Now she has 24 hours at any point to eat this food. She can continue on for 24 hours and eat it. She cannot reuse the food can. But the really cool thing is what she can do is she can actually um, res her own food and um, reassign it to herself or res her own can and food and assign it to me. What I think I should do actually is I'm going to um, reassign the same food bowl to myself just so you can see how we can stop her from eating from the food bowl and then assign the food to myself. So I'm going to actually um, put another can here and maybe you want to stand up the other thing to do is to use these accessories as avatars, you right click and sit on them. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to unassign Ella. Yes, unassign her. Now if you unassign someone, you lose the food. She only earned the food icon happiness. She did not earn a token. The only way to earn a token is to actually have all six of these yellow, which means all six must be happy. Then you earn a token. She just earn the food. But I'm going to show you, I'm going to earn one too. So I'm going to assign this to myself. Here we go. Um, spaceman. Okay, I'm going to click new food and I'm going to say this, yes, give this food. Now watch this. Now my, my icon is yellow for food. I can sit here and I can eat from it for the next 24 hours. Now because the food has been assigned to me, and no longer Ella, she still, because I already gave her food, she still got the that yellow icon, but she can no longer eat from this bowl because the bowl has been reassigned to me. So watch what happens. So I'm going to stand up. She's going to try to eat from the food bowl, and she won't be able to. You want to try to eat from it? Go ahead. See, she can't. The, the, the game won't let her because the food's currently assigned to me. So next what she's going to do is, um, how about you assign me to your bed? So here's her, this is her bed that she bought. She bought this bed and it's sitting in her house. 
but she can assign this bed to me. This means that other people can buy you things and assign them to you and give you um, these um, happiness stats. So, all right, she's going to assign this bed to me. So let me know, Ella, when it's assigned to me. Aha, it is. It's just a spaceman's bed. So watch this. I'm going to right click and sit. And as soon as I do, my rest happiness is going to become yellow. So I right click and sit and boom, I just got a, a stat boost for rest, just like I got a stat boost for food. Again, the goal is for all of these to be yellow. So that way um, I earn one token. So I'm going to stand up <clears throat> and I am going to now go over to my other accessories and I'm going to assign, um, uh, whoops, sorry about that, Ella the um, litter box. So again, I click it, I click call assign, I say assign, and I find her a cat avatar, Jinja. Here we go, new litter, my litter box is right here, and my litter bag is right here, so I click new litter. Um, it says please touch this to give her litter. The bag opens, which is pretty cool, you can see litter inside of it, I say yes. The litter empties from the bag and goes into the box. So watch this. Now she can actually right click and sit and use this litter box. So what's going to happen with her, and this is really fun. You can see how, how nice this animation is. Um, so her stat called litter is going to be yellow. Mine's not yellow because I'm not the one using the litter box and I'm not the one using the litter. Um, she is. Oh, she just took a, she just took a dump. <laughs> She has no shame. Okay. <laughs> she took a poop in the litter box. The other cool thing is, even though I own this litter box, she gets to use it. And she can even scoop. I think you should be able to scoop your own litter. Let's see if this works. Okay. There it worked. All right. There she goes. So even though I own this litter box, she can actually scoop her own litter and gets a stat boost for using it. So... That's awesome. Oh, she has to scoop two poops, two poops. And all these are custom animations just for this cat. Okay, so now she can, if she stands up, she exits her litter box. And again, she gets the stat boost. Now, again, I can use the exact same thing. If I go over here and I drag a new litter bag out just for myself right here, and I unassign her, yes, and then I reassign myself. So give it a second. I'm going to reassign myself and I click new litter. I now get my stat boost. I'm going to delete this. Now watch this. I can go in and use the box. So a total shared experience. Only one person has to buy the accessory. Not everybody. Everyone can use it or any, not everyone, anyone who is a cat, Zuby Cat Life avatar can use it. All right, so we have other things to do. Um, I'm going to stand up. I'm not going to show you my pooping. It's not really whoop, necessary. Uh, I'm going to stand up and go over here. And this is called um, the love pillow. So what this means is that um, at any point, I can assign myself to this or I can assign... Um, Ella to this. So if I right click and sit here, I'm the owner and I'm automatically assigned to this. And if I stand up, I can click it. I can click unassign myself. I can click assign her. And now she should be able to use it. So I'm going to move away and she can go and sit. And it says her cushion too. Okay, she's going to go over here and she's going to use it and she's going to get a stat boost too. There she goes. She's got one. So it shows I got some love from the pillow and she got some love from the pillow. Um, the nice thing too is that with pillows, I can actually still use it even though I'm not assigned to it. So if she stands up because I'm the owner of the pillow, accessories that don't have consumables, which means they don't have litter or food, the owner can always use. So I can still use that even though it's her pillow. Um, 
that's the same thing with the bed. I can still use the bed even if it's assigned to her. So any product that doesn't have a consumable, two people can, the owner and someone else can continue to use, which is really, really kind of cool. All right, we have a couple more things. This is called a love rug. So what happens is both of us can use this rug together for where, um, um, well, the person who it's assigned to actually gets care, but we can both actually share it. So if I go here and I sit here and I say gets love, it puts me in a position here. Now if she goes on the rug and says gives love, we both are hugging. Um, she's now actually giving love. What that means is that I get the stat boost because she's giving me love, but together we can share this rug and just be happy cats. All right, so I'm going to stand up. Um, let me stand up. Oh, she stood up. The next thing is catnip. <clears throat> so here's some catnip. Now I'm going to click this. I'm going to assign it to her. And, or you know what, I'm actually going to assign it to myself first. I'm going to assign it to myself because I want to actually get the play stat and show you. So I assign it to myself. Okay. Now because this is a consumable and I've assigned it to myself, um, she cannot use it because this is now mine. You can see I'm almost all yellow here, um, but I only have one minute left on my timer, so these are all going to go red again in a minute. But you can see that I got this boost. Now, if I detach this and stand up, Mally can never, or Ella, I'm sorry, can never click this now. I actually have to res a new catnip for her to use to get that stat boost because this is a consumable and it's been used already by me. Just like the food, once it's used, it cannot be used again. The bowls can be used because they can be refilled with food, but the actual consumable can only be used once by whoever is using it. The items that have no consumables, like the um, love rug or the basket, can be used by me or another player. I'd like to make one thing really clear if I haven't made it clear already. Once you use the consumable, the can or the food or the net catnip, and it increases your stat boost, even if the food has a 24-hour lifespan, um, you can continue to use the food, but it doesn't give you a new stat boost. The stat boost is within your cat's 24-hour span. So the, the food is really for role play once it's already used. It cannot give you a boost again. It just gives you a boost every 24 hours during your cat's internal clock, not the food itself. But we wanted people to continue to use the food just for role play so they can continue to eat as long as they wanted the, the, for the 24-hour for the duration of the food itself or the catnip itself or the litter itself. But the, st the same food cannot give you a stat boost twice. Okay, so as you can see, my clock is on a 15-minute time clock, and now it's 12 minutes, and all my stats are red again. If it were on a 24-hour time clock, you would see that the yellow was still there. So what um, Ella's going to do is she's going to be a human. She's going to sit on this rug. She's going to call me to it, and she's going to assign me wash, and I'm, she's going to brush me, and that will increase my hygiene. So, But watch this. I can actually go to this bed still. And I'm yellow, yay! So now um, Ella is a human and I am a cat. Now the nice thing about this is um, Ella, as a human, can also assign me all this stuff. She doesn't have to be a cat to assign me any of this stuff. She can, as a human avatar, buy me all my cat needs. I can live with her and she can take care of me, which is really, really fun. So Ella is a human and she was going to assign me to this rug in a moment. Oh, she just did. So what we're going to do is I'm going to right click and sit. I'm a cat, so I'm going to select cat. She is not a cat, so she's going to select not cat. Now she's going to start brushing me. Oh, um, and as soon as she assigns me wash, my hygiene stat will go up. So again, what this means is I can live as a cat with a human and the human can take care of me and give me all my care. So look, my hygiene stat just went up. That's really cool. And she's brushing me and she can continue to do that as much as she wants. The other nice thing is like if I'm not in perfect alignment with her, I can click AV offset 
um, whoops, sorry, and I can actually move myself forward or back or left or right so I align perfectly with her avatar depending on how big or small her avatar is. So the brush will be able to reach me perfectly. The other thing too is that the human can click the rug and the human can also adjust their AV offset so they're perfectly aligned with the cat. So I'm going to stand up. Um, so again, once this wash is used, it's empty. We can't reuse this. It is empty. We can't reuse this. Um, what we can do though is we can continue to be brushed within the 24 hours, but we can't reuse the wash and can't get the stat boost twice. So if I go here and I right click and sit here, I'm a cat. She can still continue to brush me, but I'm not going to double my stat boost. So I'm going to try now to get <clears throat> um, other care. Uh, um, Ella, do you want to assign me food and I'll increase my food because we have eight minutes now on the clock for me to get all my stats before I get my one token. Okay. So this is stuff that Ella bought and she put out for me as a cat. Now we can both be cats. She can be a human. I can be a cat. I can be a human. She can be a cat. Um, and we, um, as the cat avatar, I can use all these products. Oh, she just gave me um, food. The thing is that the food boost doesn't happen when I eat the food. It happens once the food is assigned to me. So she already assigned me the food. And now that it's assigned, I get the stat boost. And now I right click and sit and I can eat it. So that's really important. Um, it's not when I eat it. It's when it's assigned to me. The other thing too is that now this can is empty. I can't use it again. But I have 24 hours to just play and eat the food. All right, so what she's going to try to do within the next eight minutes is basically fill my stat boost so I'm all yellow over here so I can get a token and get a toy. That's the goal. So let's see what else is over here. Um, oh yeah, litter. Give me some litter. So she already assigned the litter box to me. You could see Spaceman. No time, meaning even if I right click and sit here. Um, oh, she already assigned it. Once she assigns litter to me, the clock starts on the litter box and I can use it. Um, no time means that I can still jump in the litter box, but I can't actually run these litter animations and use the box when there's no litter inside the box. All right, so I'm going to stand up. So right now we're going to do two more things. She has to assi assign me catnip and she has to assign me love. So this catnip right here is assigned to me. There's 24 hours left on it. She already, because she already assigned it, my um, play happiness boost just got on. It's yellow. Now I can use it. So I could sit here and I can use it. So it's going to ask me. Yes. So here I go. I'm using the catnip. So the last thing she's going to do is um, give me love by giving me a love pillow or a love rug. So do you want to assign the, the love pillow over here for me? Okay. Oh, she did. It says Spaceman's Cushion. So I'm going to detach this. I'm going to sit here. Whoop. And I just got, yay. So I am full on happy. I got all my care taken care of. I'm all done. I didn't have to do it myself. I could have done it myself. Another cat could do it for me or a human could do it for me. Now the cool thing is that after I have all my care. Um, right now I'm going to show you this uh, in her space, but at the Zubiville store we're going to have a wall which has all sorts of toys and tokens. Right now this says redeem for 25 tokens. Um, I don't have 25 tokens. Once you collect 25 tokens you'll be able to get this toy, but just for demo purposes I want to show you this is currently coded to just have one token. Um, I just want to show you how it's used. So I just click it. I say redeem. It's searching for my cats. It says select spaceman. Remember the code says one token even though it's 25 tokens because I'm just using this for demo purposes to show you how to get it. I say spaceman and then it sends me the shark suit. So the cool thing is once I get the shark suit I can wear it and I just earn that by caring for myself. 
Again, it would take 25 tokens, not one token, but I just wanted to show you. All you do is you go to the store, you click the vendor, and you click redeem, and you get it. Now watch too, I have zero tokens left. If I go and I click this vendor again, and I hit redeem, it's searching for my cats, and it's gonna tell me um, that I don't have enough tokens for this particular toy. It required one and I only have zero. So I think that's it. So I'm going to end this and um, I will post this video online for everybody and you can see how all of this works. Hopefully it's clear. Um, the other thing too is you can hide, you can click hover and hide this hover text too so you don't have this hover text hanging over everything. Um, the owner has to do it though. So if I go over here, um, I can actually um, turn off the hover text. I can also, now that the bag is used, I could delete that. Um, that way, if people don't want to see hover text, they can hide it and it's just a cleaner experience. Um, and then remember, once your, once your consumable is used, you can just throw it out. And it's pretty obvious. The cans are empty, the lid's open, the bags are empty, the litter, litter is gone. 